Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 136, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. And we've uh, we've had some stuff happen. We just finished the defense of Citadel Station around Telos, and we found out that the Mandalore is hanging out for reasons that might be considered ulterior motives. Uh, same for visas, especially since Mandalore keeps referring to her as Sith. And I don't know if that's the old, because uh, everybody keeps calling her that, even though she's clearly a light side Jedi now, uh, thanks to conversations. And I don't know if that's one of those things that they, they kept all the characters insulting her, so that way it either looks like it's them not letting go of her past if you do turn her, or, you know, it seems appropriate if you don't. Uh, still not, still not sure about how that's going, but, uh, before we, uh, before we really dig deep into, uh, the Ravager, let's, uh, let's go level up Mandalore real quick. Because there's nothing sadder than an unleveled crew. Well, maybe an unused, uh, prime, something or other, but, alright. Everybody's got... Everybody's Kung Fu fighting? No. Uh, everybody's got all the best armor, gear, and whatnot I can equip them with. Ooh, large locker. Hello? Oh, that's it? A, li a life support pack? Not a bunch of life support packs. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. What else we got? Another life support pack. All right. That's a little bit better. Okay. All right. All right. I'm, I'm revising my opinion. I'm getting a couple more life support packs. Prototype shield. Always nice. And what's behind this door here? Fires. All right. Okay. Good to know. All right. They're still behind me. Uh, and seriously though, a after the after the cutscene conversation, I, I don't, I don't know that I want them behind me. I I might really want to have them ahead of me. Uh, I don't know. I I think this is the part of the western where the guy goes, "It's quiet," and the other guy goes, "Yeah, too quiet." Ah, uh, two hallways diverged in a. And, oh! I chose the wrong one. Alright. Let's do that. Right, wrong way. There we go. Never remember which way is quicker. Uh, let's buff everybody up. And then let's do this. Time to die. Time to die. Okay then. Please tell me she's not running that far. Ooh, sonic grenades. Uh, good. I was out of grenades. Please tell me she's not running too far ahead. All right. Nobody's hurt too terribly bad. Although, man, even even ooh, strength enhancer, thermal detonator, physical boost system. That one might be worth, uh... Alright, I've got the Quickness D package, which is a defense bonus of one and dexterity of plus four. So that's basically three extra defense. Uh, the physical boost boosts constitution, dexterity, and strength. It's only a dex boost of plus three, so that's going to be less overall defense. However... I'm going to be more likely to hit, hit harder, and have more hit points. Hmm. Oh, that's still not as good as, as the D package. That's what I needed to find. I needed to find the medical bay. What's she got right now? Strength and fort. All right. Uh, the health package might be better for her, because that at least gets her regen. Um, 
That's what she's already got. The mental boost implant. Uh, charisma, intelligence, wisdom. No. I might give her the physical boost system. She doesn't need the strength bonus, but the dex will help with her defense and attack. And the con will almost certainly help with her hit points. Because uh, if I... Yeah, her defense is only 31. Like, it's not that low. It's only a smidge lower than the Mandalore, but man, she keeps losing hit points. All right, let's try that. Oh, and uh, before I forget, since we did a little bit of leveling and stuff, let's go ahead and save, save, save it again. Because I'm paranoid. I don't, I don't want to lose progress. I definitely don't want to lose progress. All right. Hi, guys. Everybody's still buffed? Everybody's still buffed. All right. Come on. This is the way we cut the Sith. Cut the Sith. Cut the Sith. Oh, a security door. How cute. Wait, security failure? Skill too low? What about with a spike? There we go. I mean, push comes to shove, I've got a lightsaber. I mean, what 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 door is going to withstand a lightsaber? Uh, a weapon I'm probably not going to use, a life support pack that I probably could use, and some chemicals which I'd love to use if... Is that it? That's it? I picked that lock for this? Mm. All right, what you got on you? An electro mesh armor. That was good for somebody, not for him. Uh, prototype shield. That is always useful. Life support pack and a dueling shield. Definitely useful. And another hallway that makes you go, man, it's quiet. All right, what's behind this door? Oh, hello. Hi. Maybe I should just keep uh, these buffs active as often as I can. <laughs> oh, oh, there's somebody else there. Okay. <laughs> I was like, why are we not out of combat yet? Oh, because there's still one poor sap alive. And we left half his body in the wall. Fell in our armor. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. Ooh. Hello, locker. I'll, I'll take the unlocked locker first. Chemicals and components, which is going to be great, except I don't think they're going to give us a chance to actually do any crafting from this point on. Uh, unless I get a chance to hop aboard my ship or something, I, I, I think I'm about done building all the stuff I'm going to build. Which kind of stinks in its own way, because uh, you're still going to be leveling as you go through this. And you might finally hit that point where you can get the constitution buff or whatever. Are they just going to let me walk over here? They're just going to let me walk over here. You've reached one of the target sites. <laughs> Place the proton core. Prime it. Then give the signal, Mandalore. All right. Set one of the proton cores. <laughs> Arming signal received, Mandalore. The proton core is active. We still need to set three more charges. Mandalore, we are holding our position, but the Sith appear to be offering little resistance. Like they don't even realize we're here. Well, don't do anything stupid. Uh, hold your position. It may be an yeah, it may be an ambush. Remain on guard. Ooh, journal entry XP. What's that journal entry for? You've set the first proton core. Only three remain. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of spit. Hey, so that's what the uh, Citadel Station or Telos looks like. One of the two. All right, while the battle ravages outside the Ravager, let's go say hello to these guys, shall we? 
Hi. I'm kind of surprised that the Sith power is still on her uh, big go-to with the cost. Can we, can we put another proton core up there? Do we need to use just four? I mean, I'm not, I'm not above putting more than four uh, bombs on the ship. Unless this is going to turn out to be something that I really, really didn't intend it to. Which, given that conversation, it very well could be. Oh! Hi! Uh... Okay. Let's dance! <laughs> wow. Get him! And, uh... Huh. Okay. Disruption glow. Yeah. You know, I, I keep wondering if it's worth doing all the looting, but it's always worth doing all the looting. Ooh, plasma grenades. Those will be coming in handy. Those will come in handy as long as I remember that I've got them. A shyarn? Adhesive grenades. Eh. They're good for parts. Life support pack. Not bad. And if I'm reading the map right, that just goes all the way up here. The only reason why I want to go in here... Yeah. Hello, my little bundles of XP. How are you doing? Go attack them. Don't just stand there deflecting bolts. Give them all. Oh, that's right. I forgot that uh, the quickness thing wasn't on. Oh, good. You're on the healing. Nice. Uh, poison grenade. Eh. More armor. I, I kind of I kind of wish that when they got to this part, they'd stop giving you the armor and that sort of stuff. Hmm. I'll, I'll take whatever's in locker number three, please. Okay, maybe I didn't want everything in locker number three. I mean, hey, in case you haven't built or bought a weapon any better than this, here's a melee weapon that does 6 to 17 damage. And gives you flurry and improve, improve, improved, improved flurry. Oh look, here's an upgradable thing. You won't be able to go to a workbench and upgrade it, but here's an upgradable thing. Uh, it does 3 to 24 damage. Plus whatever you can upgrade. Like the thermal detonators, that I get. Uh, sonic grenades, that I get. All the grenades, give me all the grenades. I'll take them all. Um, damage bonus. Oh. Oh, oh, intended to be used while unarmed. Uh, that's actually, I'm curious what kind of an unarmed build you could do on somebody. Because you get all these things that increase unarmed damage bonuses of various types. And, sorry, got something in my eye. Um. Like, these probably would have been really good to have earlier. Because I, I think I could have made uh, the, the Handmaiden an unarmed combat specialist with all the Achani uh, yada yada stuff. Strength. Was that it? Yeah, that was about it. Um, which reminds me. So... No, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that because of the Constitution three. But we can level her up. That's always helpful. Ooh. Um Well isn't this sad? No matter what I level her in, it's not gonna be enough to make that big a difference. 
I'll put it in Constitution then on the off chance I get a chance to level her one more time, but I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, we'll do the same skills we've been doing. And powers. What unstoppable powers. Uh, hmm. Well, that that kind of doesn't help either. All right, let's just get her force deflection. All right. And let's level you up again. And, oh, no, never mind. We can upgrade his strength one more time. Just tempting. But he doesn't engage in melee at all. But one more in dex isn't going to make that big a difference, but we'll do it anyway. On the off chance, we can up upgrade him one more time. Level Upgrade him. Level him up one more time. Stranger Things. Oh, that's right. He gets feats upon feats upon feats upon feats. Um, he's already got all the precise shots. Uh, we can get him weapon specialist melee. Uh... Yeah, pretty much everything else he's topped out at. And I'm not sure, I'm not sure what else I'd give him. I mean, uh, I'm not giving him Mandalore Empathy. It'd be nice, but uh, that's not really going to help. Flurry's not going to help. Gearhead's not going to help. Uh, dueling sure is not going to help. Yeah, we can give him Dual Strike. That That's probably the last of the ones that, that would really be beneficial right about now. Okay. There we go. Everybody's upgraded. Upgraded. Leveled up. Man, why am I doing that today? Let's go ahead and save everybody's level up real quick. Alright, and we got our empty locker of semi-usefulness. That goes back up to where we entered. So now... And now we come through here, and it's time to head eastward. So we've already we've already looted everything elsewhere. I I see there's more Sith defense. Uh, let's do this way first. This looks like it's going to be the shortest route. All right. Come on, open the door. Still too low. I'm not above breaking the door down. I, I keep forgetting because if you do that with chests and whatnot, like if that locker was locked and you, your skill is too low to unlock it and you decide to break it open, you break some random item that was in there and instead you get the chemicals or the parts or percentage thereof. Uh, that that is one of the changes in the second Knights of the Old Republic that I, I on the one hand appreciate for uh, making it so that you, you don't just put like no points and open lock and everything into break the door down but it uh it would be kind of nice to to have options all right Speaking of options, let's uh, let's finish exploring down this way first. Oh, did they see us? No, they're just gonna leave us be. Uh, isn't there room at the end of this hallway? No, there's not. There's not a room where the hallway ends. I feel like I should quote Shell Silverstein's where the sidewalk ends. Don't mind me. Do, 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 do. Oh, these guys see me, though. Yeah, I, I'm not going to bother with the buffs. Not with two people. Three. Oh, that only got one of them? Oh. Okay. Well, that went well. Enhanced shielding visor. Um, Alright, let me finish uh, 
securing the valuables. And then we'll see if maybe I don't have a better bit of uh, visor for visas too. Prototype shield. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting to, to deploy shields. Alima Kito's robe. What does Alima Kito's robe have? Um, Alright, so right now I've got Force Regen 2. No. Regen 3, Constitution, Wisdom, Intelligence, Charisma, and a defense bonus of 1. Oh, restricted to dark side. Never mind. That's not going to help me at all. Well, I could have used the uh, strength strength boost. And I was going to look at... She's got an absorption visor. And she can't wear an enhanced shielding visor. Because she would need medium armor proficiency. Okay. Cancel that. All right, that's not been that bad. Hi guys, don't mind me. I'm just sneaking about your ship, stealing your stuff. Then let's uh, let's see what's behind this door here. A missile bay. What's in the missile bay? This proton core is locked into its bay, and it cannot be removed. It could detonate if you tried. It would be best to leave it. Okay, that's good to know. And what's in here? Concussion grenade and an adhesive grenade. Alright. Oh, we do have a workbench. Well, that's good to know. What else we got? Fry grenade and some chemicals. What's in the missile bay control? Seal the missile bay doors. Activate launch sequence. Um... Hmm. All right, let's uh let's log out for now cuz I'm not sure I want to actually do anything with those. I got a funny feeling that's going to come in handy later. Hi guys. All right, it's your turn now. Let's do that. Let's do that. And then we'll get this party started. Cut him down! Come on. Wait. Who who threw the grenade? Did you throw the grenade, Mandalore? Did you? Uh oh. They're not lootable. Okay. Hmm. Alright, that's where we came from. That is clearly the main way down. Let's first Let's first check down this hallway here. Let's go through the easy to open door. And find nothing of consequence. That's kind of sad. Why, why would you even put the room here? Why are you going to let me in here? There's nothing to loot. There's nobody to beat up. Alright, what's behind this security door? Skill too low. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to spike in it and see if that holds. Uh, okay. I'll take those. I'll take those for a dollar. Kind of wish there was more than just that, but okay. Uh, oh. Is that it? Is that really it? Just those two rooms? Just those two rooms? Oh. One of the targets, oh, there we go. Place the proton core. Prime it. Then give the signal, Mandalore. Alright, set one of the proton cores. Arming 
signal received, Mandalore. The Proton Core is active. <laughs> two more sites are left. We've lost contact with two of our squads, and we've had to fall back to the docking area. All right. Uh. Understood. Try not to give any more ground. Keep guarding the entry port. Okay. Unnecessary order is unnecessary. Like a Mandalore is going to unnecessarily give, uh, give away. <laughs> Alright. I feel like we should have been able to do something to that missile bay, though. Hmm. All right. All right, I'll buff everybody if it looks like he's got more friends. Seriously? Who did your pathfinding? Bethesda? Finish him. Finish him. Impressive. <laughs> oh. oh, I spent much too much time playing that game back in the day. Does anybody remember which game I'm talking about? Uh, where am I on the map? I am here. That means... Okay. All right. Let's. Uh, ooh. So you do have remains to lose. Or how many late battle suits does this dude have? Exarcoon's late battle suit. Uh, I've already picked up two of them in the game so far, and as a named item, you would have only expected one. But uh, here we are. All right. What's uh? What's this way? That that's not on the map. Hey, you come to kill me. The final hmm. insult. Stripping Onderon, my soldiers, my home from me, only to have me die here. Um <laughs> if you wish to die, then I'll shoot <laughs> it'll be my pleasure. Letting you live on board this vessel seems punishment enough. I'm here to kill your master. Help me or stand aside. What happened to you? He happened. The hunger that fills this vessel. It is power, but it consumes without end. It is that power we felt on Onderon, that Vaklu felt. It was an echo, too strong to ignore. Uh, so you gave in to it. Why did you ally? You made your choice. Um, so you gave in to it? General Vaklu and I, when it seemed that we would need more to take Onderon, make it strong again he came with his power his soldiers it yeah he had a deal you couldn't refuse do. nothing the queen could do to stop us uh hmm and nothing you could do to I stop him served the wrong master he cares nothing for Onderon. you're just now noticing this people. everything exists to feed his will I came here to this dead ship and now he will not permit me to leave to leave the ship does seem familiar this ship it is a graveyard of a terrible battle everything on it slowly dies as long as he hungers it is the way of all life that serves him in his presence all life dies this ship is from Malachor this Sith Lord of yours bolsters his fleet with ships from that world? He's nothing more than a scavenger. I think he is of that place. If so, then his power may be great indeed. Greater than I had thought. Uh, so you planning on switching sides with that or what? Alright, why did your master come here? The master suffers. If he cannot feed, then the hunger begins to consume him. The planet, Telos... He may feed on something upon its surface to sustain him a while longer. Uh, but there's nothing here. You 
you think to lie to me still? I will not be deceived again. I told him, you know, what the old woman told me. Yeah. I told him of the academy here, of the Jedi here. I could not have kept it from him, even if I had wanted to. Uh, the old woman, you say? He means that Jedi witch you travel with. Thank Freya. you. I knew what he yes. meant. The old woman on Onderon. She spoke of the Jedi Academy here on Tiaz. Yeah, except... And my master was forced but... to come here. But there's nobody there. Then her lies will mean the planet's destruction. He will yeah, destroy that's what I was afraid of. of. He will turn it to fire again and crush the planet beneath him. He will devour them all, murder them all. If there are no Jedi here, then my lord cannot feed his hunger. He will destroy the planet, the station. He will cleanse it of life. Kind of figured he was going to do that anyway, whether he could or couldn't feed. The small amount he can feed on from the mass destruction of the station and the life from the planet will sustain him a while longer. And if there are no hmm. Jedi below, he will have no other choice. And if we deny him Telos? Then he will suffer. Without something to sustain him, I do not know what will happen. All right. <laughs> All right, I got my wisdom choice, which uh, is probably the best one. I think Korea knows. She's been drawing him out. If she leaked Telos to your lord, maybe she wanted to come here and find nothing. He will create nothing. He will end this He place. is nothing. Your old he will be ended. He will be ended. There can be only one. Other worlds that depend on its survival. You could not stop. Oh wait, wrong you franchise. To. And you cannot escape either. If the force runs through you, he will feed on it when Citadel Station dies. I thought the force your flowed time, through everything. Your life will end inside us, and around us, and binds us all together. Sorry, I can't do an old Alec Guinness British. All right, where is your master? On the bridge. He of course he is. On the bridge. Is he waiting for us? Waiting for you. <laughs> no. He does not wait oh. for you. Nobody I will. I do not believe he knows his ship has been boarded. And if he did, he would not care. The extent of his power cannot be put into words. And his perceptions have grown as well. Hmm. To him. You are dust motes in a storm. A grain upon the beach. Yeah, as well. As insignificant as a body that orbits the graveyard of Malakor. Fight him if you will. But if he turns his power upon you, you will be destroyed. And what about a ship? This ship, is it his weakness? It should not exist. Yet it cruises the darkness between the stars. He tore it from the mass shadows of Malakor. Oh. Along with his fleet. That is a measure of his power. The ship is barely holding itself together. The structural damage should have destroyed it long ago. He's probably barely holding himself together. And he keeps us all alive. Just enough. Like rot worms within a dying beast. I wonder if this is why the Sith have been More Jedi different. Tricks. No. Not Jedi. Not Jedi at all. If he's so powerful, why hasn't he stopped us then? We've attacked his ship, killed his soldiers, and he's done Don't. nothing. Don't give him ideas. He sees planets, stars, not people. To him, the planet below, the station with its teeming life, only that is massive enough to demand his attention. All right. Uh, I've heard enough. Prepare to die. Uh, letting you live on board this vessel is punishment enough. Tempting. I'm here to kill your master. Either help me or stand aside. There's nothing to be done except wait. If you mm -hmm. go to him, he will destroy you, and your last moments shall be of shadow and pain. Diamonds and rust. No. Um, if you save Andoran, then listen to me. Once he destroys Telos, then Andoran. Yeah. Let's try. Let's try the persuade. I got a high persuade. But there's no longer any need. Hmm. He has touched Andoran. And he will come back. Yeah, that's... You are right. As long as he exists, Onderon is in danger. The galaxy is in danger. Redeem yourself. Let me do. 
I need someone to set off the proton cores when we give the signal. Go report to the target site. Colonel, I'll let my men know you're coming. And if you try anything stupid, they'll shoot you dead. I will do as you ask, for Onderon's sake. Okay, good. We redeemed Colonel Tobin. Such acts have their own strength about them. I had forgotten. Uh... It was a small act. It may seem that way, but perhaps it can become much more. I'm sorry, I did not mean to speak of it. No. Speak your mind. I'm not like the other guy. Principles of sacrifice and charity. These are things I have not seen in some time. I'm afraid that it will weaken you for what comes. But I have said enough. Um. And you do not need my counsel. Your actions should, as always, be your own. Look, uh, advice is always welcome. Alright, so. That's going to go back into a series of hallways that I have a funny feeling we're going to see soon. That's going to go into a hallway that we're going to see soon. I Let's see what's down this way first. Oh! Hello! There seem to be a lot of you. Let's get our enlightenment on. Let's start swinging. This shouldn't take long. Never seems to. Get him. Who, who just took a med pack? And why? Oh. <laughs> I guess I could have used one. Nah. It's fine. Speaking of med packs, always nice to pick up a couple of extras. I guess you won't be needing them. Ooh, and a Mark III jolt cell. I can put that in that lightsaber that's not getting put to use. Alright. Wonderful stuff. I'm not really going to be able to put to use. But, uh... I guess I can take it. What else we got? What else we got? We... We're going to need to take a break in a minute. I, I, just, I just realized how far over, uh... I took this particular episode. So, let me... Let's go ahead and save our progress. It's been a little bit. And, uh... Let's take a little break. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And... If you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia. 
or open your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're uh, we're gonna cut out. Have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.